alternate nostril breathing is a great practice and it's very calming for the nervous system. And so if you don't, if you're not familiar with the practice, it has to do with, there's a science, a yoga science of Swaradhara in uh, Sanskrit that, that's a science of breath and energy, basically. And what a lot of people don't realize, I certainly didn't until I got involved with this, was that our nostrils actually change dominance every hour and a half or two hours. And so sometimes our right nostril has more airflow, sometimes our left does. And when we talk about the nostril dominance, we're talking about the right side of the right nostril and the left side of the brain. So it's the right hand. It's more of a, a linear kind of a logical type of, of energy. And the left hand, the left side, of the left nostril and the right brain are more creative, more uh, solar and lunar. Masculine and feminine is another way that they might describe that. But everyone has both of these energies. So the practice is really good to come back to center. So if you're feeling angry or despairing or sad or fearful, anxious, whatever it is, it will help you to come back to a state of equilibrium. So it's a very powerful practice and it's very easy to do. Um, sometimes we'll do it for five minutes. Sometimes tonight we'll do it in this recording too, for people who are watching later, we'll do it for about 15 minutes and, um, and just to kind of take it from there and see where it goes. Okay. So as you're getting settled, some of the relaxation practices we do lying down, this, uh, breathing practice, we generally do sitting up. You want to have lots of room to breathe. So I had neck and trunk are aligned and, and straightened and not to kind of bend your head down during the practice either. We we'll use our ring finger and our thumb. So you can have your middle two fingers there on your forehead if you want, or you can just have them tucked into your palm and get see if you can get your arm kind of settled so you can relax your forehead, relax your jaw, relax your neck and shoulders and your arm. And then bring your attention. We'll, we'll just do a couple of minutes of tuning in before we come into the actual practice. So bring your attention to the breath. And when we do that, we notice the flow of breath in the nostrils. And we also notice the movement of our belly with the breath. And when we're upset or anxious when any of that's the, a lot of the stress that goes on and it's been a rough week for sure. And then we tend to hold our breath or we have unhealthy breathing patterns that come in. Maybe we breathe very shallow, maybe more in the chest than in the belly. So as we're starting just to notice what does your body feel like head to toes and what's going on with your breath. And as we're getting started, especially, but you can do this at any time, you can always open your eyes as well. Just look around the room and notice if your body feels like it's safe in this environment that you're in right now. So your mind might be going a million miles an hour, but one of the ways that we can settle that is to just look around and notice that there's nothing dangerous to me in the room right now. Let your eyes take that in. One of the things that happens with the nervous system is it never really helps to tell someone to calm down. It's a nonverbal communication. So when we let our eyes take it in that it's safe to be here, then that helps our nervous system to settle. And notice your feet, your seat, stay really present in this moment. And begin to be aware of the flow of breath in your nostrils. Notice how it feels a bit cooler as you breathe in, a bit warmer as you breathe out. And ideally our breath is about the same length on the inhale as the exhale, and it's smooth and continuous. So as we're relaxing and as we get more relaxed, that tends to happen on its own. But we could also help it a little bit just to really notice at the end of your exhale, if you're holding your breath, let yourself breathe in. 
And once you breathe in, let yourself breathe out. So no hesitation with the breath. And then bring your hand up into position and block one nostril and inhale. And then block the other one and inhale. So sometimes it's a really obvious one is the active nostril, the one is the passive. But if it's not obvious, if it's kind of equal, then just pick one to be your active nostril. And the other thing that we do with alternate nostril breathing is we let our awareness flow from the eyebrow center, just behind the forehead, to the base of the nose where the nostrils meet the upper lip. So let your awareness flow with your breath as you're doing the practice as well. And some people like to use a universal mantra, so hum, which is coordinated with the breath. So as you're inhaling, you would listen to the sound so and exhale to the sound hum. So that's another way that we can focus our mind, bring our mind in from other times and places and worries and really focus in on this moment in time. So that's a lot to remember, but I'll talk you through it. But it's also helpful sometimes to the mind to give the mind enough to do that it can kind of settle and relax. So bringing your hands into position, let's start with exhaling and inhaling just through the active nostril. So at the end of an inhalation, block off your passive nostril and exhale and inhale through your active nostril. Next exhalation, change sides. Exhale and inhale now through your passive nostril. And let your awareness flow with your breath from the eyebrow center to the base of the nose on the exhale and then back on the inhale. And next exhalation, change back to the active nostril. So take your time as you're going from side to side, not to rush the breath. Exhaling and inhaling, let your breath be smooth. Let your awareness flow with your breath. And the next exhalation back to the passive nostril. And if you're working with the sound, it's inhaling, so exhaling, hum, so let the sound be smooth. Next exhalation, back to the active nostril. Let your forehead and jaw relax, your shoulders, your arms. And keep your mind really steady. Keep your focus on your breath. Next exhalation, back to the passive nostril. And then after you finish your inhale, bring your hand down and follow the flow of breath and awareness now from the eyebrow center through both nostrils to the base of the nose. And let your mind stay really focused. Eyebrow center to the base of the nose and back. Inhaling, so, exhaling, hum, so. And 
And then bring your hand back up into position. And this time we're gonna start with the passive nostril. So as you exhale, breathe just through your passive nostril, block off your active nostril. And intend with your mind that your passive nostril will open a little bit more. It will become more free flowing. And then change sides, block off your active nostril, or sorry, your passive nostril, exhale and inhale through your active nostril. And again, taking your time, change now so that you're exhaling and inhaling through your passive nostril. And let your body release any tightness or tension. Let yourself settle and soften. And then changing sides again, exhaling and inhaling through your active nostril. And then back again to your passive nostril. Let your mind be really steady. Let go of other thoughts. And if your mind wanders off, that's okay. Just bring yourself back. Exhaling and inhaling through your passive nostril. And back to the active nostril again. And then bring your hand down again and just let your awareness flow again between the eyebrow center and the base of the nose and back. Even though the flow of awareness, the flow of breath itself might not be exactly equal, intend with your mind that your breath will become more even in both nostrils. Relax your forehead, your mouth and jaw, neck and shoulders, all the way down through to your feet. And then for the third round, bring your hand back up again. And we're gonna go back to exhaling and inhaling through the active nostril. Inhaling so, exhaling hum, so. And then exhale next time on the passive nostril, look off your active side. Allowing the passive nostril to open and flow a little bit more freely.
And then changing again, exhale and inhale through your active nostril. Back to your passive nostril, following that flow of breath, awareness, and sound. And then again to the active nostril, check your posture, let yourself be upright and relaxed. And then next time, back to the passive nostril. And then bring your hand down. Just follow that flow of breath and awareness for a little bit longer. Smooth, continuous breath. And if you notice that you have any tension in your body, you could also focus on that for a moment as you're breathing out. Let go of any tension through your forehead and eyebrows, any worry. Maybe it's your mouth, you're clenching your teeth. You could let the hinges of your jaw soften and relax. Maintain this awareness of the flow of breath as well. Sensations in your nostrils that flow between your eyebrow center the base of the nose. And let go of any remaining tension through the neck and shoulders, down through your arms and hands. Through your upper back, your chest, your belly, and down through your legs, feet, toes. And then come back to really focusing in on that flow of breath and sound and awareness from your eyebrow center to the base of the nose. And let your awareness flow in a single stream right in the very center. Inhaling so, exhaling hum. Focusing only on this smooth stream of awareness. Breath.
And notice the flow of air in your nostrils again. Notice if it's a little bit more equal, if it's changed, if it's the same. Notice the degree of subtleness or anxiety or fidgetiness. What's going on in your nervous system? What was your experience during the practice? Did it help you to settle? Did you have moments of that? And then you went back into thinking. All of those are really normal experiences. And then when you're ready, open your eyes and finish the practice.